when a sound wave in an enclosed space encounters a room boundary, wall, ceiling, floor, there are three things that can happen. The wave may be absorbed, losing its energy and disappearing. It may be reflected and bounce back into the room, or it may be transmitted through the boundary into the adjacent space. Absorption occurs when the boundary surface is porous. Those familiar wedge-shaped studio foam panels, for example, are designed to absorb mid- and high frequencies depending on their depth. When a room is too bright and reflective, the wedges increase the effective absorptive area. Reflection occurs when the surface is smooth and hard, wood, plaster, glass. Sound waves that reflect will cause interference with other waves. At mid- and high frequencies, a little of this produces a desirable ambience, but too many strong, focused reflections can muddy up the sound in the room. Transmission occurs when a boundary is flexible and flexes in response to a sound wave, usually at lower frequencies. This is usually problematic. The surface with greater mass will be more effective at preventing transmission. <laughs>